Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about a problem from lead code. It is an easy problem. The problem name is verifying an alien dictionary. Okay, so the problem statement goes like this that you're given an alien language. Surprisingly, the aliens also use English lowercase alphabets, but possibly in different order. By order, it means that we have the order of the English alphabets like A, B, C, D, E, F. But for the aliens, it might be H, L, A, B, C, D and so on. Okay, so the order might be different. Now, what you're actually given is that you're given a sequence of words written in the alien language, as you can see. Now, and the order of the alphabets for the alien language that is also given to you. Return true if and only if the given words are sorted in the lexicographical order for the alien language. Now, the only thing is what is lexicographical order? Many of you might know, many of you might not know. I will tell you in simple terms. What you can simply understand from lexicographical order is, let's say that you are having these words and you want to place these words in a dictionary. Then which word should come first, when, which word should come next and so on. So these words, if they are placed in a dictionary should be in the same order in which these are here. Okay. So let me take an example to how they are placed in a dictionary. So let's take an example. Let's say you have two words that is A, B, C, D. This is one word, one word. And the next word is B, C, D, E. This is another word. This is complete string. And this is one, one word, another. Then obviously this word will come first in the dictionary than this word. Why? Because if you like match out this word, this start with A and this start with B. So obviously when you do like search in a dictionary, the first all the words with A is there, are there and then all the words with B. So obviously this will come first. Similarly, if you just have these words, some ma some characters matching. So let's say that the word is A, B, A, C and the next word is A, B, A, F. Then obviously this word will again come first in this word. So what you can observe is that this word is matching, this word is matching, this word is matching. The first word that is unmatched. Now whatever that character is, whichever is smaller should become first and the next one should become later. And the other case can be let's say that they are complete matching A, B, C, A and the next is A, uh, let's the next is A, B, C, this is the next word. Now what you can observe here is that if two words are there in which they both are completely matching until one of them exhaust, like there is no more character to match, then the word, then the string which has lower characters is the one that is put first in the lexicographical order. That this will be placed before in lexicographical order in a dictionary. Okay, why? Because the complete matching is there. How you can now differentiate between them two? So whichever is the larger should be placed later. Now, whatever rules I've told you is according to the, uh, what you can say, R uh, order of alphabets that is A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. But this might be different. Why? Because let's say in, in, uh, in alien dictionary, B is before A, like it may be like B, C, A, D, F, like whatever their order is. If B is before, then obviously this word will come before. I hope, I hope you get the point. So the overall logic here is that whatever words you are given, let's say word one, word two, word three, and so on. You just have to understand that they should be sorted by sorted. If so, this word should be the smallest, they should be like this in. So if you want to place them in a dictionary, according to a language, they should be placed in this order. So what you can actually do is you can just match two ex two consecutive words. Okay. You can just match these two words and these two words and these two words and so on. And this word should be lexicographically larger than this previous word. How you can just do that? You can just take these two words. Let, let's say W1 is uh, coding, code. Okay, and W1 is, let's say, again, C-O-D-E, let's say. So you can just have these two words. You can now compare them according to the order of the alien language. And whichever comes smaller, if this code is coming before like this code is let's say w1 and it is smaller so obviously this is far fine if this is smaller then that is wrong that's the overall logic i'll take on the code part now so that it will become more clear to you but that's the overall logic here what i've done here is that let's move this so this is the alien language like starter function we will iterate over all the adjacent words and compare them and if the comparing function returns false that they are not in the correct order we will return false else it will true like else returns to if every two consecutive pairs are correct in the order. Okay, how now this compare function works. This compare functions will take a pointer 
like let's say a, a variable i that will keep on matching these two strings until they are having the same character okay so we will iterate over this i and i will go over the length of a and if a i and b i of the same position are same we will keep on iterate, like incrementing i now when this while loop will stop like what three cases it can stop the first case it will stop is let's say i'm moving over the let's say the string a so there's, there's some string a let's say a b a c and the next string is a b a okay now this is a string this is b string which is given to you like this a and b okay now i'm moving this i along this string they keep on matching that this is match this is match this is match now it, it will stop either in the two two cases either there is some character left in the string a but nothing in string b the other case can be that there is some character left in b but nothing in string a or there is a mismatch by mismatches that it is a b a and uh, this is a b a e okay and so on so the three cases are there at which it will it will stop eventually doing this while loop and we'll handle those three cases one by one the first case is that if a stops and b doesn't stop if a stops and all the characters before it are matching which means that a is smaller so if a is smaller and b is larger it is fine because i was i just want a to be smaller and b is to be larger according to this function so return true if a doesn't stop like a still have more characters but b stops okay in that case it runs false because all of them are matching a is not smaller b is smaller so it runs false or else the other case can be that a and b do not stop but they stop at a point at which the characters are different now if the point at which the character is different whatever character both of the strings have we just check out in the order of the alien language which character come first whichever character come first that word will become smaller let's say absolutely smaller so i will just find the order of the ith word i am on in the a string as well as the b string if the a string word is having smaller order then obviously the current word a is smaller eventually in the left of the order or else b is smaller so if a is smaller the answer is true as all the answer is false so it's just a boolean expression to calculate which one is smaller and accordingly to that condition we will just compare our two consecutive words and just print out the answer eventually so that's all the logic and the code part for this problem if you still have any doubts you can mention it in the comment box thank you for watching this video till the end i will see you next one play keep coding and bye